players walking through walls to players being able to murder every single player they came to all around RuneScape. This is a list of RuneScape's top 10 infamous glitches. Number 10. No clipping. Now this glitch first appeared in RuneScape somewhere around July 2008. It was scored by a couple of bug abusers where you can pass through almost any barrier in RuneScape into areas which you should not really be at accessed unless you are inside a party say or a game um, areas which are no longer accessible such as tutorial island and you can also walk through objects and even stand in the middle of stuff like the um, for example the fountain in the middle of grand exchange it was found by a few players around september 2008 and was patched two weeks later by jagex but this bug continues to uh, keep appearing um, every so often back into runescape it reappeared after the uh, uh, sorry on the 11th of November 2008. It did reappear on the same day. Still in creation was created, where a, a team discovered the use of still in creation in order to um, no clip again. The aftermath of this was there's not much Jagex can do to really stop people from doing this. Essentially, once it's done, you, it's done. People could. Um, no clip into Legends Guild and buy the, leg the Legends Cape without completing the quest, but that was patched uh, in a later update. People uh, have been banned for doing um, doing this, like um, using it to gain advantage into the game, like, uh, like dropping stuff for somewhere and using hacks to get it. Um, uh, more recent, some of the more recent ones. Let me just have a look here. More recent one with the Blaze Hound and Sky Pouncer pets. Were um, could no clip through walls and stuff like that. On the 19th of April 2013, it gets discovered which allows players to walk into urns and chests in the in the pyramid plunger mini game, but uh, it didn't allow players to walk through walls, which is a bit strange. So it is a quite a, a serious glitch, and it's been around for well at least six years now, actually eight years now, and it just continues to keep reappearing in RuneScape. A very hard glitch to get rid of, it seems. Number nine. The Rune Crafting Experience Glitch in Dungeoneering. Now this was apparent from the f within the first few days of the Dungeoneering skill being released. In which Jagex had accidentally boosted the amount of experience gained from Rune Crafting instead of lowering it. This allowed players that were crafting I mean, 5 runes that could get 13,000 experience per rune. <laughs> and for, while doing low runes it may be able to, to get 54,000 experience per rune. It was an absolute monumental, well, frankly, a cock up, which allowed thousands of players to gain million, ex millions, and millions of experience in runecrafting. An immense amount of people got to 99. The only thing that Dragos could really do to counter this was to roll, roll, roll um, the game back. I believe it was 30 minutes they rolled back, which in that time only like 30,000 people got to um, 99 runecrafting, which is why. The room crafting skill is one of the highest level 99s today. There's a lot of people who did abuse this bug weren't banned. The Jaggers couldn't um, tell who was purposely abusing it and who accidentally abused it. So overall, it was quite a bad glitch, which um, which have really affected room crafting in a bad way. But overall, not not a massively bad glitch. Number eight, the bot watch rogue banning glitch. Now this was a major, major glitch which appeared on the 27th of September 2012. This appeared when Jagex released their um, bot banning update which would point out bots and make it a lot more easier for them to find. Um, unfortunately, it went a bit wrong. Around 3.30 in the afternoon, um, the bot watch seemed to start going rogue and started banning thousands of people for no, for no reason. It just felt like banning them. Uh, yep, thousands of people were banned, placing unappealable permanent bans on their accounts for botting. Um, it would also be teleporting players to any random locations such as White Nest Castle and Winter Tower. Um, if um, players were affected during this time, if they dropped an item, um, it would just kind of go bang and never be seen again. Um, a lot of people who were affected by... Um, by this did get their accounts but I think everyone did because they could not determine who was botting and who wasn't so Jagex just repealed all of the all of the bands and gave everybody 20, 23 spins on the Squeal of Fortune aren't they generous would have been nice for some free membership but they were 
Yep, so it was just basically a slight cock up on the um, Jagger Assist part. It um, is known that around 40,000 accounts were banned by this rogue bot. Um, and each and every single one of them was unbanned in the end. So overall, this was a pretty bad bot and a bit of a massive cock up, but it was eventually fixed, so not too bad. Number 7. The 25th of February 2009 major crash. Now this was a bug which was discovered after a large update came into RuneScape. Now the, basically the bug was quite a weird one, where you would type the old code either alt plus 230 or alt plus 0181 and you'll get sort of like a U with a line coming out of it. And whenever you said this, it would kind of crash everybody's game. So, <laughs> so uh, it, everybody who saw this would um, disconnect from the game and would cut, be unable to log back in for uh, a few moments. Now this was uh, most of as probably everybody was already guessing. Um, during, the, sorry, during the time that this bug was active, um, Jagged advised all players to stay in quiet and remote areas and not do any sort of dangerous PvP. They were advised to keep the public chat off to save them from getting getting uh, disconnected. Um, for some areas of the game were actually shut down due to the to, due to the bug itself. These were Bad Hunter, uh, Clan Wars, ding, oh, these are the dangerous ones. Staking in Jewel Arena and Jewel Arena tournaments were completely um, banned. Uh, take, sorry, taking off while this bug was activated, obviously due because people could use it and then just shank the hell out of everybody. And also, this was during the time of PPP world, so people were encouraged to stay off them. So, obviously, people use this glitch to go into PvP world, start for a fight somebody, use you, disconnect everybody around them, and also who the person that they were fighting, which they would easily be able to kill since they have no control. So, this was uh, probably a very, very bad glitch, and it's probably the worst on this list so far. And it did have quite a big effect on Moonscape, because a lot of people obviously lost a lot of stuff. But Forsy Jaggets was unable to do anything about um, the actual loss of items. But they did, did fix this glitch, and it's, now if you say it, you just like a you just look like a weirdo saying you. So uh, yeah. Number six, the Crucible Money Glitch. Now if, after its release, there was a glitch allowing players to enter the bank pin to enter the Crucible without actually paying by just saying I don't know it and agreeing to cancel it. Whoever wants to play left the Crucible, they will get the fee that they should have paid back. But they didn't actually play. <laughs> so basically, um, you would go into the crucible and then exit again, and you would basically get your fee back without even paying for it. So you would get 500 or K or whatever it was back in about two to three seconds, resulting obviously in massive bug abuse. This was patched on 20 plus 5 on the same day. Um, a lot of bugs would obviously go went offline during this time, this time even. Um, Poss there was also a variant of this glitch where people could um, get ma who had max cash were able to basically double their cash pile in similar in near enough a similar way. They did um, many players who abused this transferred their wealth to a secondary mule account so that they basically didn't lose their wealth. Um, near enough every account that did abuse this is banned or has been banned since, and also a lot of the mule accounts have also been banned as well. Which is awesome to know. Everybody who abused this bu bug did get what they deserved and got banned for this. Since it was an absolutely massive effect on the RuneScape economy, if this gold would have got out into the economy, it would have had a massive effect of having hundreds of millions of gold pumped into the economy. Number five, the Ring of Wealth glitch. Now, on the 15th of March 2011, they, um, an update was done to the Ring of Wealth, which introduced new teleports for the ring. And also modified the way that the Ring of Wolf actually works. So that inc increases the chances of obtaining the rare rewards and then obviously tells you when you get them. But within half an hour of this being released, the player players discovered that while in loot share, <laughs> the effects sort of stacked. Which made it possible for players to obtain extremely rare items constantly. An example of this were players were able to get um, rares such as sigils. As a hundred percent drop from the corporal beast, yeah, a hundred percent. That's why they dropped. So that's when they started to go down, way down. This is the glitch responsible for the divines going from six hundred mil down to forty. Yeah, 
after the glitch, my mark did apologise and did fix the glitch, but by then it was too late and then the, all the sigils were in the economy and it ruined it. And now Divine's worth nothing. <laughs> so this was a, a very bad glitch, it did affect the economy in quite a bad way, but um, I, I, yeah, it never really recovered, the, the sigils didn't, so yeah, pretty, pretty bad glitch. Number four, uh, smuggling dungeoneering items. Now this glitch has been in existence since the first day of dungeoneering and uh, the most easiest way that this glitch was done it um, was done using a node familiar um, with, um, smuggled into um, dungeoneering we got managed to get it past the barrier as you go into the waiting room and um, yep the um, person would then put the items into the node familiar which um, after leaving the dungeon the familiar would disappear as the game would then update and all the items would be dropped at the bottom of the ladder of the waiting room so you could just climb down the stairs and then pick up all of the items that you just had in your pack, your pouch. Now, the originally, when the were first smuggled out, they were fully usable, fully tradable, and fully, well, they were fully everything. The armor was absolutely over the top, the weapons were over the top as well, and just, oh my god, they were so powerful. Um, after a, an update, quite a few people who did do this because majorly were banned. Um, and there are still items out there today which have been smuggled out but as soon as you equip them i believe as soon as you equip them or as soon as, soon as you use the one of the weapons it will disappear and you will get um, a thing saying uh, tell jagex how you got this item i do believe um yeah so obviously um as well there was quite a big market um in the real world for these items as well uh, people actually sold them in ultra mode such as like primal plate bodies and weapons uh, for quite a bit of money, I don't know how much. I'm not even going to guess how much some of them went for, but probably quite a bit. So this uh, didn't have really a massive effect on Moonscape, but it's just the fact that people could get them out so easily and so frequently, and people probably still do. Number three, the Tahar's Fight Pit Massacre. Now this is, was an event that occurred on the 13th of May 2008 at, after the rework on the Tahar's dungeon, which altered a lot of the graphics. What it's allowed to do is for people who are in the game, they were able to attack players which were in the waiting room and then go over the border and claim all of their items. So basically, someone who's in the game could cast Ice Barrage all over the people who are in the waiting room and basically just get a ton of loot and um, annihilate everybody who was in the waiting room who could not defend themselves. Uh, so they basically were GF. Good fight. <laughs> People who did die did lose everything that they were holding, even if they had item protection on it, I believe they lost every single item that they had on them. Uh, people would just be able to pick them up, the person that killed them anyway. Um, also, on the same day it was fixed, Jagex did ban everybody who majorly abused this glitch, who killed other players, so haha uh, -ha to you. Um, but unfortunately the glitch apparently did come back which I didn't even know this the glitch reappeared again after the second to Hars, um, update in 2012 but I don't think this one is more widely known as nobody really used the fire pits uh, really any more around that area so yeah pretty bad glitch but um, since it didn't affect a massive amount of people I would say it's not a major glitch but it probably was for the people that it affected of course so, yeah, probably one of the worst glitches in the history of Moonscape. Number two, the duplication glitch, otherwise known as the party hat duplication glitch. This is possibly one of the most infamous glitches in Runescape history and occurred in Runescape Classic on the date of 7th of November 2003. This was mainly due to the fact that it was used to duplicate the then called pink party hat, now called purple party hat, which was then the most expensive party hat in the game. Following this, the party hat crashed and is now the least most expensive in the game and has been since this event. So the, the original glitch did not uh, intend to duplicate items. It was a, a used by a player called Six Feet Under who attempted to use a thing called Auto Rune to trade the untradeable scythe. Um, the player um, failed to do this, however, but discovered that he could duplicate any item in the game. So this is really called an item spawning glitch, but it's yeah, it's still a uh, duplication glitch essentially. It was formed by trading with a player and then used an autumn rune to enter a new magical value for the corresponding, which is said non-touchable item. For example, the number third of rune two hand was eighty-one. 
I didn't know that. <laughs> so the value would be entered into the auto room and the player who has traded with this one using the auto room will be able to receive that item but 81 of them. The quantity of the item is shown as zero on the trade screen the player would go to create items show a quantity of one and they will base in time an experiment reveal a few people had to execute the glitch. This player then created several items um, the most expensive of which took time party hats which within days hundreds of players knew how to execute the glitch so everybody in the whole of game was doing it they were duplicating oh, I don't know all sorts of um, expensive items rares just pumpkins easter eggs everything you could possibly imagine was being duplicated so what the response from Jagex was um, that they could not immediately fix it because they had no idea how to fix it absolutely no idea so eventually they had to say we don't know whoever can tell us how to fix it and we successfully do by their advice would we'll get lifetime runescape membership now somebody uh, did come forward and explain to them how to fix it which they then did and since then it has not happened again but the did refuse to roll back the day which probably would have screwed a lot of people over so this is probably one of the worst glitches to happen in runescape history and runescape is still not recovered from that day and number one here we go, we all know this was coming. The Falador Massacre, the most infamous glitch to ever occur in RuneScape history. This glitch um, is also known as the World War 1 glitch, the Great Falador Riot, or the 666 Massacre. Um, the reason it's called 666 Massacre is, is because it actually occurred on the 6th of June 2006, which is 666, which I guess is bad luck for Jagex. So, um, the what happened with this glitch? A player was hosting a house party called Cursed you, uh, host a house party for nine, the first player to reach 99 construction. And due to the, there was an immense amount of lag, and the combat ring was the main attraction of the house party. So everybody was doing it around, uh, playing around, killing each other, and then they got kicked. They all got kicked um, from the house. They all teleported to Falador. Um, and then everyone could still attack other players. And a player. Um, called Duel321, who is the most uh, famous player uh, for abusing the final massacre. Um, killed lower level players on the rampage, he had full iron fire, gave obsidian whip, obsidian shield, a pistol whip, and a green party hat. He looted a green party hat after killing a low level player. His rampage lasted 60 minutes before he was finally removed from the server by Jagex moderator. There are no official losses um, recorded from the victims that lost it. But there's known, obviously, the green party hat was lost, a bit of weapons, ranger sets, and a lot of coins were lost, obviously. A player attempted to hide their valuables by unwielding expensive things or banking some of the items. Because the real attacks high level players, play moderators are shown to encourage players to bank their items, obviously, because they would lose them. Um, yeah, so it was actually rumoured that the event cost uh, players 2 billion coins in all. And obviously it's the most uh, infamous glitch to ever occur in RuneScape history. Everybody who abused this glitch, glitch, not glitch, glitch in her, um, did get banned with eight black marks on their account and was never allowed to play RuneScape again, obviously. So the aftermath of this, um, there were um, two, a few players who attempted, um, they recreated the Final Massacre, obviously faked it, using the um, egg cannon and some Samurai brews. So once the cannon hit them, they would use the potion, which looked like they were getting hurt, which is pretty, pretty funny. The uh, site Tippet did interview Duel321 Fu about the um, case. He didn't really have too much to say. There is a report if you do so much to read it. Um, he did it say that he handed his green party, pat, party hat over to one of his friends to hold before he was escaped from the game but his friend went ha ha you got scammed and kind of owned him so that is Follow the Massacre, it was the most infamous glitch ever to occur in RuneScape and it is also the end of this video so thank you so much for watching um, if you enjoyed don't forget to punch that button there, comment down below and also subscribe also most follow me on my Twitter feed which is going to be linked down below so last to say thank you so much for watching I've been XDogKillerX and I will see you in the next countdown